What is going on guys? We're back with another video today and we are doing another rebuild on Madden 19 doing a realistic style of the Cleveland Browns. We're also going to be using a 2019 real life draft class. But I must say, if you've been watching any of our 10 year sims or you've just been playing the game a bit, you notice that the Browns actually do pretty damn well in sim after a few seasons. But honestly, I don't see it. Okay, Chubb is an 84 overall. With star dev okay so that's you do have a couple of positions here that are like pretty much set you have the quarterback running back tight end probably gets pretty good after a while but honestly i really don't see how they win so much in sim like i thought maybe they'd be like an 82 83 with a bunch of star dev guys but you know you got a few but like avery he's normal dev showbert's quick at most um jamie collins is dead and he costs a lot of money Jabril Peppers is pretty solid, though. I don't know if he actually had a great season. I can't even remember hearing his name. Demarius Randall, which the Packers tried to put him at free safety before. You know, maybe just a thought. You know, instead of trading away your players for uh, backup quarterbacks, eh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe just try him at a different spot first. I mean, they got young players, but I just don't see it. But hopefully that, you know, hopefully it does work for us as well. Um, obviously, there's a lot of holes on the team. Well, not a lot of holes, but there's some holes on the team, and uh, we're here to fill them. <laughs> so hopefully I didn't ruin anything, but I took Nick Chubb and Ward off the practice squad. Of course, they're already great players. I put Callaway and Avery on there. I mean, I just figured, you know, those kind of... Oh, we still had Tyrod Taylor. Should have traded him off if I could have. I don't know if I could have or not, to be fair. Greg Robinson, uh, he's actually not terrible. Like, he's got a lot of strength. Still pretty young. Could re-sign him. Oh, my God. No. No, mate. We're not doing it. Uh, they do actually have a couple of young guys here that, you know, normally I do let go. But I think this time, you know, this, you know, realistic rebuild, I think we're going to re-sign these guys. Body Calhoun. I think that's a re-signing with the kind of money we have, you know, not having to pay a quarterback for a while. Like, you know, Baker's still making quite a bit of money, but... You know, he's probably going to make double that if he continues at this pace. Tyrod Taylor has zero chance to return. EJ Gaines has a chance, but not high. Uh, Brashad Perriman, because of his hairline, you know, you know, it happens. No worries, Brashad. Happens. Uh, he looks, he seems a lot older than 24, 25 years old, but hey, he might have a chance to re-sign. Well, you know, it depends on how well he plays. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to take a look at this later. Not gonna do that. Your your block, your strength block shedding, not great. Philip Gaines, no chance. Because if I'm gonna resign anyone, it's gonna be EJ Gaines. All right. So stop yelling at me. Also with coaching, I think we're gonna save up for wide receiver as that's one of the biggest needs on this team. Uh, normally we would go with the cheaper ones because you can get bulk, but I think wide receiver is the most important. Headed to the playoffs. We like I said no. The Browns do pretty well, but is it year one they do really well? I can't remember. I I know it's after a few seasons they're just dominant. Well, uh, apparently not. No, don't do it. Cleveland? Cle Case Keenum's MVP of the league. I like to see it. So, uh, spoiler alert, we were 3-6 and six at one point, and we decided to go on a win streak, huh? Yeah, nice. We won four of the last six. Could have had a top five pick. Instead, we just missed the playoffs by an inch. However, it means that we probably will be able to dominate this division next season. Depending on how good of a draft we have. Nick Chubb, that could be, no. Nope. Maybe it'd be a superstar dev. It is not. Tanner Callaway, Jarvis Landry, quick dev. Did he already have quick? He did. I mean, at least he didn't go down, right? Let's take a look at defense. Joe Sher Schobert had a lot of tackles. Miles Garrett with some sack totals. Uh, looking good. He's already a 99 overall, so there's not really much more you could do with him. Denzel Ward, that's a, a nice player. He, oh, he already had Superstar Dev, really? Okay, he's pretty sick then. <laughs> I didn't know he already had Superstar Jabril. Quick Dev. Looking like a baller. Not a bad season at all. Greg Joseph not getting re-signed. So there's that. Can we use wide receiver coaching now? Because like I said, that's the biggest need we have. There we go. Callaway could still technically not be the guy for all we know. Uh, Perriman, he didn't go up at all, so he probably doesn't get a re-sign. But hey, let's, uh, let's take a look. Make sure we didn't look at the awards. We might have had something. 
Case Keenum. Uh, offensive Rookie of the Year, please. Thank you. Pretty expected. Uh, with Defensive Rookie. Oh, Denzel Ward didn't win it. That sucks. Don't think we'd... Oh, Miles Garrett. All right, so we won like a few for a 719. That's not bad. Let's go to the offseason and take a look at who wins the Super Bowl. Broncos could be the team, which would be weird. Nope, Saints over the Bengals. The 8-8 eight eight Bengals almost won the Super Bowl. That's crazy. So re-signings, once again, let's take a look at what we have. So Tyrod Taylor, not a chance. EJ Gaines could be re-signed. Greg Robinson, no to you. Sorry, Perriman. I know you're fast, but the experiment did not work. You're still bad. <laughs> the experiment did, did nothing. Look at Brian Price. Oh, my God. Green Bay. We'll keep uh, Xavier here, though, if we can. Up his years a little bit. Screw off. So let's take a look at cornerback and offensive lineman. Greg Robinson. So we need... How good is Hubbard? Hubbard's 28, so we might have to resign Greg, depending on how much he costs. Defensively, cornerback... Uh, let's take a look at Mitchell. Terrence, he's 27. TJ Carey's probably 28, 29. So Gaines is, uh, probably a need here. We don't have that many draft picks to work with, I don't think. We'll keep EJ Gaines. Two-year deal isn't that much anyway, so. If he doesn't take this, he's getting paid a little bit more than he expected, so. He should be happy. Greg Robinson, as much as we kind of need him, I gotta let him go. I think they usually do let him go anyways. A three-year, $12 million deal. I, if, you know, if I can't use them, I don't think it's going to work. So we have about 40 mil to work with. Is there anyone better that we can go for? Tyron Matthew. All right. I mean, obviously, we can't go for him. Don't really need to anyways. I just wish some of the guys that, you know, we can't normally get would be a little cheaper. Like, Jamison Crowder here is 26. That's star dev. This could be a good experiment for us. I mean, this he looks pretty damn good to me. I mean, even with getting him, we could still draft a wide receiver. Greg Zerline, do we steal him from the free agency? 108 points, we'd be offering him about $10 million a year, which in the current market would be a steal. Uh, no question about it. Cornerback is still an issue, and then obviously offensive lineman. Kicker is an issue. You guys know I love to go Jake Elliott, but, you know, maybe the Browns are ready to win now. Maybe we want a kicker that's a guaranteed star. Guy that's going to hit every kick. I never really tried to compare test for Daryl Williams, but he's actually not crazy expensive. He's 26. He's 83 overall. It would be costing about 10 mil a year. Once again, real life money, not even close to, well, not, not, not even close to his value, but definitely uh, easily gets paid that in real life. I'm going to go for it. Normally, you know, I would just let the Redskins have it, but you know what? Washington, we've had enough of your crap. Okay. We're not having it. We even, we're even taking Jamison Crowder. We don't care. This is going to be a nice free agency, actually. And we'll still have some money. Obviously, we can cut some players, too. Gosh, cows. All right, I guess Washington had the last laugh, didn't they? Or did they? Because he's expensive. Maybe I was just putting a front up to, to make them bid higher. I don't You don't know. I don't know. You have pick 14. That's really bad. <laughs> That's a bad pick. Um, so I didn't get to quite scout the guys I wanted to. I'm worried Devin's going to go very high, though. I want to try to get up here. Bills, Raiders, Vikings. So I think the only way this is even going to be worth it, I'm going to trade him. Pick 14, 33 next year, 86 this year, and that's not going to be enough. I'm going to give him a next year third and this year third if we're talking realism. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him a third this and a third next as well. I think this is, it's not like the most fair trade in the world, but... I mean, it's it's pretty damn close. I'd say it's pretty damn close to real life value, in my opinion. Devin White is by far the best of the players available. Supposed to go number one. We took him four. Obviously, a lot of people are going to be projected number one. God, I hope the Packers get him. The Packers haven't had a fast linebacker in ages. Like, the fastest you can really even think of is, like, Jake Ryan. And anytime he tries to make a turn, he's going to bust his leg. Sorry. Uh, but, yeah, this is going to be a great piece. Joe probably moves out to right. I know we already have a lot of short guys, but how the hell is Hollywood there? He's insanely fast. He's a beast. Got to go with him. Quick dev. A little low on the dev, which kind of sucks, but super fast. How can you really deny it, you know? We might end up having to trade off somebody here, but do you pass up on a talent like him? I feel like the Browns wouldn't. He's. I'm going to take him. I'm going to take him. I don't care. 
Star Dev, 78 overall. Beast. And uh, that's that's all she wrote there. Uh, maybe a little bit of a reach here, but we need a corner. And this guy has potential. Normal Dev, 76 overall. Uh, pretty damn fast. I actually really like him. I like him a lot. Little undersized. Could make a number three corner. Actually make almost the perfect number three corner. I think that's probably the route we'll go. Yeah, obviously a very good draft. Can't be mad with it. So we trade Callaway, Jamie Collins, and TJ Carey to the Titans for Quentin Spain, who's uh, he's decent. We'll also give him Chris Hubbard so they have something to fill their need. Uh, we'll just take a seventh round off of them. So we do have one hell of a short receiving core, though. Hopefully that doesn't affect us too much. Scheme fit's kind of looking rough, too. We'll have to start altering that. But obviously the team is much better. 86 overall, 90 across the board pretty much. You know, you round it, got the same right guard. That's pretty cool, you know? So because the Browns had, uh, you know, the top five pick for the last 45 years, don't really have to worry about too many big name signings yet. Uh, Demarius Randall, he's 27. He wants a four-year deal. I mean, this is just going to get uglier as it goes on. So let's just knock this out now. Take a bit of a hit when he's around 30. Joe Schobert, of course. Perfect timing for him, of course. I already said, of course, twice now. Um, very lucky for him. He would have been making a lot less if not. JC Treader, I'm not sure. I think Emmanuel Ogba is good enough to be the starting DN for us uh, for the rest of this thing. So I'm going to give him a deal. Zettel, I'm looking to get a new DT, so I'm not going to worry about him right now. Uh, and then the rest, I mean, we'll have to see at the end of the season. JC Treader could be a tag situation. I don't want to pay him a four-year deal at 28. Uh, I think he's going to really regress hard soon. All right, here we go. This is where things usually heat up. I think we also did a little bit better than the Browns normally do at getting talent. And we do make the playoffs. And 13-3, Baker Mayfield is the MVP. Uh, spoiler alert, at one point, we were 9-0. It's kind of crazy to think, but let's take a look when we got that first loss. So there's the first five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten and oh, then we lost one, loss, win, loss, win. Sorry to say, but if history is not to be mistaken, this is going to be a loss. <laughs> uh, Baker Mayfield, of course, changing the scheme up, changing uh, playbooks a little bit. Goes for an MVP season. Love it. Nick Chubb also had a great season. Please be dev. No, dev up. Really? Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Jimmy's and Crowder had a good season. Uh, is that a superstar? It is a star. That's perfectly fine. Jarvis Landry, is that a... It's a quick. Marquise, he had a pretty good season, too. I don't think he would go up and dev, though. He did not. Uh, Joku, I don't really even know where to put that at. Dennis Daly, not bad, considering he's a 73 overall. Barely gave up more than uh, Spain, who obviously is supposed to be a guard. Manuel Ogba, looks like we paid him perfect timing because he actually did pretty well. He went up in dev as well. That's, I mean, that's good stuff. Makes sense. Uh, achievers. Oh, achieving the impasse. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Gosh, Kasi was pretty good. He only missed five kicks out of 25 and one was blocked. So that's pretty uh, impressive stuff. Gotta win an offensive or something. Not maybe offensive, but rookie of the year. Damn it, Devin White. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. They both, I mean, Josh Allen couldn't have had better dev than uh, Devin. Uh, but 11, you know, 11 overalls. Wow. The Ravens. Okay. Division rival Ravens. Look at the Bengals aren't here because they won the Super No, they didn't win the Super Bowl. They made the Super Bowl at 8-8. Eight and eight. So 7-9. and nine. Wouldn't it surprise me if they made it back. Uh, acceleration, Jarvis Landry. What's his speed and all that? Not that bad, but obviously could be nicer. Could be nicer. Crowder. Clearly, with that star dev, was worth it. Cheevers actually becomes our new number two corner. I like it. Confidence is high. Quick dev. I mean, I'm all about it. Let's take a look at the playoffs versus the Ravens. We're a pretty good team. 91 of their 85. I'm not saying we're the best team in the league, but we're a top three. And that, I mean, obviously, that gives us a decent chance to actually pull this thing off. All right. As long as we beat the Ravens, that's all I care. Super Bowl would be nice, but beating the Ravens is the main goal. Because they're a division rival. It's, it's pretty obvious. I don't know why you even asked. Why? 20-3, to 3, obviously a very good score here going into half. And uh, defense letting up a little bit. But offense has just not stopped scoring. So very impressive stuff. The Ravens have a great defense, especially in Sims. So that's a pretty good victory, even though they were 8-8. Eight and eight. I mean, Once again, we saw how this division rolls at 8-8. Eight and eight. They, they make the Super Bowl. Lamar Jackson... Pretty damn Lamar-like, if you ask me. I'm sorry, Lamar. I'm just I'm just rude. Nick Chubb. Holy crap. Killed it. 
Uh, we have a lot of short receivers, but maybe that's that's what it takes in the NFL. It's all about the speed in the uh, route running. Ironically, we don't have great route running. We have one guy with speed, so that's truly just a lie. But because of the bye week, because of that early start to the season, did very well. We're already in the championship game. However, Jags have, I don't know, maybe like a quarter of an inch better of a record than us, so they will get to host this one. All right, all we have to do is win this game, lads, and we are on to the Super Bowl. Not looking super hot already. Ooh, field goals, man. Don't like it. There you go, defense starting off a nice one. This is a really low-scoring game. Why did I have to say anything? I was fine with a low-scoring game. Just keep it in our favor. All right. Oh, that's a bad one. Oh, that's a bad one. Oh, that's a bad one. Yikes. Defense kills it. This could be for like an extension of the lead if we didn't suck last drive. But uh, hey, we finished it up with a touchdown. We're up by three. Three minutes left. Defense, please do your thing. What's the situation? Oh, God, it's a bad one. It's a bad situation. Come on in. I did so. <gasps> Jabril. Fournette sucks. We know it. He doesn't really suck, but he did pretty damn poorly there. This probably is going to be a pass, but we have to run commit. We have to. To the back of the end zone. He was out of bounds. That's a flag. That is going to tie the game up. I don't care what anyone says. I want to win this game, so I'm coming in the game, you know? What do you want from me? Oh, there you go. He is open. And he drops the ball. This is going to have to be a shot to the end zone. We're going to go five wide just so we can get the bigger guy in there. He could. They're not even going to give me a chance. Or will they? No, they won't. Damn it. Oh, I made a mistake. I speeded the sim, which is good because he won anyways. Kind of a stupid lackluster finish, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. <laughs> it is we won the game. Basically, they kind of fizzled early there, and uh, we ended up getting the ball back with a kind of short field, and we scored. So there's that. Not really a good statistical game, but the only stat that matters is the win column. It was against a good team. You know, they were, what, 13-3? This is the Super Bowl. I would assume this is going to be against the Saints, right? We obviously have a lot of a lot of weird specific holes, which, I mean, that's just a great name for, like, a, a band. Ooh, the Eagles. All right. But I think we can do it. 12-4 and four Eagles versus us. They're a 90 over. Wow, they really turned it around. Holy crap. I mean, this has gone pretty damn well for us. So if we can finish this with a Super Bowl, that would be really nice. Defense does a really good job here. Should come up with, yep, another touchdown. Defense does bad low. Well, that was really the defense. It was the offense. This is a damn score fast, though. Unlike last Super Bowl in real life, which was a bore fast. Good stuff. This game is looking good. Defense is doing really well, man. You got to give props to the defense. It's It's been the main reason. I know the offense has been killing it, too. Yeah, honestly, I, I can't say that. I got to call this an even, an even victory. This is... It's an impressive performance, both sides of the ball, man. Defense is making the stops. Offense is getting on the field. I mean, coming up with points almost every drive is obviously huge for a team. 38 points in this game. One of them was, what, 41? I mean, there's a lot of scoring going on. And, you know, defense coming up clutch when it needs to. The Cleveland Browns win the Super Bowl in technically, what, 2019 season? 2019 season, Super Bowl win. Who's going to be the MVP? Baker Mayfield? Probably, right? And it could be Chubb, though. You never know. Could be Chubb. It's probably one of the two, though. One of the two skill positions, as they call them, which is a complete hit on every other position in the league. Well, wide receivers are part of that, too. Chubb was the guy, and he deserves 121 yards, three touchdowns. Longest run was nine, so that's just, that's just power running. That's just consistency. And honestly, I kind of respect that a little bit more than just a one-off, you know, kind of lucky play. That sets him off for MVP. So, impressive stuff. The consistency is nice. And uh, this team is loaded. Of course, the draft pick's going to suck. Sorry, Raiders. It's, it's part of the business. You just never know. But we do have a first-round pick. And not a whole lot of holes. Could be a little bit of money to work with in free agency. I like what we did. You know, I like what we did here. And let's see what we can do next season. If we win a Super Bowl here... I think we'll be done, but I kind of want to see if we can get a dynasty going. So I think we might do a four-year, even though we're doing well. Carson Wentz, 
does better technically. Finishes with the worst passer rating because of the completion percentage, but he didn't throw a pick. Had one extra touchdown. However, you look at Chubb, he had three touchdowns. So obviously, that's going to take away a little bit from the team. Sack totals none. The only pick of the game was Darby. Nice little Super Bowl victory. Let's take a look at the re-signings. That's not what I wanted to look at. Devin White with a player of the week there. Negotiate, Treader. I really want to get him on a one-year deal. Uh, four years is just too many. Zettel, I probably should have re-signed him already if I wanted him. Seth DeValve, a backup tight end could never be a bad thing to have. You know, it's nice to have a little bit of depth. I think that also is what helped us. And then Treader. Sorry, buddy, but we are going to have to tag you. Actually, are we? Four-year deal is quite a... Let's just drop him a little bit. If he takes it, he'll take it. Going to test free agency. So, you know, he's he's kind of making out here a little bit. You know, we're paying him. Basically, you know, you factor it in a three-year $24 million deal. However, we're not technically locked in. So, in the long run, it, it kind of works out for both parties, really. Um, well, kind of. I think in real life you would get a little bit of money in free agency still. Michael Thomas is in here. What the hell is this? Wide receiver, really not a big need for us. Obviously, I want taller guys, but clearly it doesn't matter that much. You know, we have an 89, an 88, and an 81, and it's only going to get better from there. So, really, I'd be looking for offensive line. Damn, I thought Daly was really good, but he was actually just, it's just the confidence. Well, not really good, but good. But it's definitely the confidence. DT is the biggest need here. So, DT and, I, I mean, I guess corner. So, DT corner, if there's anything like that, we'll take it. Accept it. Let's see what he is as a DT. Hopefully at least at 80, right? 81 overall. I mean, that's perfectly fine. That's kind of what I was looking for. Obviously, Willie Henry might have went up a little bit too. But that's perfectly fine, I think. Let's head to the draft. I let the AI do the scouting. Of course, we're not doing a real-life draft. I think, no doubt, the center has to be the best choice. He looks pretty damn good to me. Quick dev. 79 overall. Super strong. Going to be one of our uh, new linemen. Should be a left tackle. That free safety is nice, but how much is it going to cost to get up here? So we trade him pick 160 this year, a second round next year, and daily for pick 35. Probably could have given him a little bit more, but daily is a pretty damn good lineman in fairness. It's just we got a center that's a little bit better. Uh, who is this guy? Rodriguez Reed. Looks pretty good, but that's definitely normal quick dev written all over it. Who the hell do we want again? Free safety? Sean Spears, he looks really good. Uh, I think the dev's going to be lacking, but I think he's going to be a nice 79 overall. Um, well, I will say he is a 79 overall. However, the dev is quite a bit higher than that, and he's kind of sick. It would, you know, leave it to me to have one of our best drafts, you know, the last two drafts, really. In a rebuild where we really don't need it. <laughs> we could have, you know, we could have saved that uh, that karma. You know, cashed it in at a, you know, a rebuild. You know, maybe we come out to the Dolphins. Hey, here comes a couple good drafts. No, we're going to cash it in now when we don't need it. Let's take a look at the draft recap. There's really not much that we could have done to do better, you know. Unless we want to trade up and get rid of all our players or picks again. This is a really good draft, by the way. This is one of the best, honestly. That I've seen in Madden 19. Like it's, it's a really solid class. It's just not much more you could ask for. Running backs were a little bad. Here's Reed, by the way. Our Reed guys, Reed, quick dev. Uh, cover shot's a little bit better, consider better than I thought, considering I thought he was going to be one of those you know, run stopper types. Uh, pretty damn fast, too. It's definitely worth the pick. Dolphins get a little bit better. Hey, speaking of those Dolphins, we're rubbing it off on you a little bit. Rubbing you off. All right. Let's take a, you know, let's look in with Mr. Devin White, see how he's doing as well. Got an acceleration, nice. Superstar Dev, 22 years old. Balling out of control. Cover stats lacking a little bit because we've been trying to catch up run stopper with field general, but I think at this point it's not even worth it. We're just going to go over pass blocking, or uh, pass coverage anyways. Uh, man coverage, Cheevers can probably take a couple of zones coming up here. But, yeah, he's, uh, he's working his way up there too. Quick Dev, 81 overall. Looking solid. I like it. Definitely looking at a DT or cornerback upcoming. But then yeah, maybe not cornerback because obviously we're about to move somebody to corner, whoever is the best fit, which is probably going to be Jabril since he is 
a bit higher of an overall. So Jabril drops three overalls. So does Demarius. This is an interesting one because if we're going to move someone into corner, I want them to be pretty damn good. However, I don't know if Randall is going to be the guy, but I also don't want to lose such a sick safety. However, they're both kind of small, so I think Jabril moving a corner makes a little bit more sense just because uh, we did get the safety who's really tall. Uh, I think it actually makes a little bit more sense. He's a bit taller, and he's got a little bit better hip. Actually, no, he doesn't have better hip power at all. He's got, he, Jabril is 88. That's just not going to happen. Um, I like that. I like what we've done here. I think it makes us a little bit better, and maybe not overall-wise right now, but the long haul, I think it does. Once again, it appears that we will be uh, cocking ourselves once again with the contract situation because we're moving Jabril the corner where he will be making more money than a safety. And, of course, it is re-signing time. So we have uh, quite the name. Miles Garrett here, five-year, $90 million deal. Clearly, it's uh, we're, I'm actually going to just knock it out for a six-year. Some next-level money. He deserves it. Uh, Jabril's not costing as much. Larry. Larry. What the hell, Larry? Jabril, of course, he's uh, he's just too valuable not to re-sign to a long term. Damn it, Larry. I told you to slow your roll, mate. Now I've got to pay you tons of money. Ugh, damn, Larry. Always doing this thing. He's always doing it. I'm telling you. He just do always does it. Like we don't have too many other guys to re-sign. Captain Punter? That'd be a terrible superhero. Five-year deal, 31 years of age is going to be interesting. Totally worth the money, though. I can't believe Larry did the thing. Just crazy stuff. He always goes up high, but I didn't think he actually became superstar dev. Is that what he's been doing every time? He always becomes a really high overall after a few seasons. Impressive, I guess, but jeez. Well, we re-signed everyone we needed to, pretty much. Everyone should be pretty much happy. Now let's get this thing done. We do make the playoffs. The Steelers are 11-5. Rodgers takes MVP. Let's take a look at Baker's stats. Touchdowns down again. Uh, picks at three. Decent yardage. Of course, touchdowns are down because Nick Chubb has 18 rushing. That's super start. How the hell do you drop Dev with a season like that, EA? For the love of Jabezels. For the love of Jeff Bezos. Uh, Jarvis Landry's quick Dev. Yeah, receiving's not going to look super great. I would say Jamison's down to quick. Yeah, he's a, he's quick, but it's fine. He's a good player. Defensively, Miles Garrett killing it with 17 sacks. That should uh, easily be a super. Yeah, I don't know why I even looked. He's obviously going to stay super there, and he also gets his last upgrade until he regresses, and it's not a bad one. Acceleration's nice. Larry, is that a dev drop? Please don't be able to dev drop. Damn it, Larry! Look what you, you sleaze. Emmanuel Agua still looking solid, though. Uh, Denzel Ward. Oh, my God. How? Don't tell me you dropped that. Could be a pretty successful one. Starting out strong versus the Chargers. 7-7. Seven 14-7. Seven, seven. It's going to be a tied game at almost half. And it will be a tied game at half. This is a really high-scoring game. This reminds me of the Super Bowl a little bit. A little bit worse than the Super Bowl for us, though. Ooh, this is bad. We're down by four. Come on, offense. I believe in the offense. I'm not even worried about it. 35 penalty on the defense. That is huge. Offense doesn't take advantage of this. And on fourth and one, you have to go for this. They will go for it, so I'll let them do it. You know, as long as they're making the right decision. Good job. First and ten. That's huge. Thank God it wasn't a sack. Clutch play to Jamison. You got to give credit to the offense. That was a long, rough drive, and they scored... Defense, though, is so bad this game. Offense is killing it, man. Please score. Oh, my God. And they're not going to score. Wow. Fourth down. They get it, but they do get blocked. So a field goal wins this game. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. This is so bad. No, we're not doing these. All right, lads. If there was any time to get the biggest amount of pressure you could ever get. And that is legendary stuff. Please, Spears. You're young. You're tall. I even moved your Brill Peppers for you. Make a play. 
Nah, whoa, oh, Jesus Christ. I was going to laugh at him, but that thing I was kind of hooked in there almost. 44 to 42. They should have just canceled the real Super Bowl and just called it there. Wow, what a game. What a divisional round. Baker Mayfield threw a pick. So did Phillip, though. Uh, Baker was sick with the completion percentage. Once again, Nick Chubb had three touchdowns. So, you know, you slap that on. You compare the touchdowns. and They had very close games. Not bad, Tyrell. How you doing? To the championship game. Ooh, the AFC North is representing the Super Bowl. We're up on them by six overalls. Don't even remember looking at the Chargers overall, but I don't think it's as good as ours. I think it was like 89, maybe. All right. Quick, fast scoring. That's what I want. Let me go seven points. Not really doing that, but we're defense. You know, defense is finally doing a little bit of stuff. Kind of like last season. This is a really low scoring game, and it worries the hell out of me. Up by seven. This is going to be a touchdown drive, isn't it? It is. Damn, 10 all. Good defensive penalty. And, man, that was, I don't know what that five-yarder was, but that sucks. Great defense. Almost saved them. They do clutch up, though. Great punt. This has got to be points. Second to five, negative rush. You can't be doing that, man. You can't be going for a negative rush. It was a smart decision. They tried to get closer and kick the field goal. Third to five, another clutch defense. Oh, my God. Larry. Larry. No. What are we doing? Great punt. I can see why he's the captain. A 61-yard pass to Le'Veon Bell. I can't do it. I can't, I can't let it happen. This is my baby. Two timeouts. Going with the best play in Madden history. Baker unleashes the ball down to the 32-yard line. Let's call a timeout. What a pass. We played a little bit smart instead of going for a, a chuck up the field this time. However, no one's really open. Taking it. Oh, my God, Baker. You go from the throw you hit to that. Oh, he's not really that open. But Landry holds on. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna burn him off the line. This these I mean this difficulty is actually kind of rough. Do we have over we do have overtime. They get the ball though. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my lord. What the hell is wrong with this defense? Playing super well all damn game. And then they just choke it in overtime. Got some big boys on that line. Devin gets caught. No, 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 no. No! Oh, what a play by Demarius Randall. The safety, the rookie safety, I think, just completely got ran through. Two point. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is. Oh, Lord. What the hell is going on here? I don't like it. The balls on the Steelers. Are you serious? It's Larry. Larry with the damn play. I love that man. He's so good. Offense got a chance to do some magic. There you go. Good stuff. Even if you overtime again, it's fine. It's looking good. It's looking good, boys. Oh my god. Are you serious? We tie the game. Oh my lord. The Steelers defense. Oh no. Oh no, there it is. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, I mean, the kick isn't going to be super easy here. Not guaranteed kick. But I don't. I think if we don't block it, I think it's it's going to be the win. I think the Steelers are going to make the Super Bowl here. All right, come on. This time we're going Mitchell. Been on the team in ages. Chip on his shoulder from all the hate I've given him. Come on, Mitchell. You can do it, boy. My man. No, Mitchell. And the Steelers move on to the Super Bowl. What a game. So bad at the goal line, though. That is just uh, like all game, really. I mean, even the one the one touchdown earlier on, we had to win it. Got to had to get in on fourth down. Larry, my boy, he was so good. What a gutsy call. Of course, it didn't work, but Larry sniffed it out and just murdered him. I mean, he was the only one on it. He's he's so good. He's so good. I'm proud of him. But unfortunately, the team could not get it done. We will play another season, though. Like I said, I wanna, I wanna see what we can do here. If we can get that, that, that second Super Bowl here. You see a Steelers versus Packers Super Bowl rematch, and the Packers do win. So if we couldn't beat the Steelers, we lost by three, and the Packers won by 14. I'm just gonna make the argument that that's, you know, that would have happened. I think Treader. I think he's uh, outrun his welcome. I'm gonna let Goshkowski have another season though. It's not like Treader's been... 
Okay. Fine. Yeah, I'm not even gonna give you the tag. Go! See how well you do in the open market. You're gonna do really well, which sucks, but... There's other kickers. It's fine. Christian McCaffrey, not really interested in you fellers. Jason Kelsey. I know he's only a, like a one, maybe two-year deal guy, but... I'm actually pretty damn interested, I must say. He's a star dev. He's pretty solid. I don't really think you can get much better than him. I mean, it's only a two-year deal. It's not going to cost us that much. Yeah, I think we'll go Greg Zerlein. He was there last time we went for a kicker, Goshkowski, but he was getting a little bit of offers. This time, it's a, it's a freebie. Oh, all right. Didn't have to super overpay him this time. I don't know. Maybe maybe we're not getting the players because they're like, oh, they're paying us that much. Yeah, they must really suck. Pearson McKinney. Of course, he fits the bill with the bench press. Fits the bill with the size, the age. Please be good. 78 overall. Wow, we drafted him right where he was supposed to go. Makes sense to me. I mean, I saw it as well. Uh, definitely a great developmental piece. And if we have any players or picks left to work with, which we see a late third, I will go for it. Take a look at the draft recap. I don't even think we, what, did we take one player? It kind of makes sense. It didn't really have much more we could go for. Uh, what are we looking at here? So, a lot of great linemen in the first round. Probably the best lineman class we've had in a while. Uh, just off of, you know, obviously we don't know if they were actually great. But just based off of the combine grades. I'm trying to look for that middle linebacker. It was before the fourth, right? Because it was like we had a late fourth we were going to try to use. So how to be in that range? He was a legit middle linebacker, I think. Reed Nails. I don't know if that was even him. If it was, he wasn't very good. Or was it? Oh, no, it was Carol Portis, wasn't it? Normal dev, 74 overall. Not very great. So there's that. So we had uh, some business to finish. Kyler Murray in a second round pick this year for the Broncos first round pick. I know it says it's projected one overall, but obviously a guy like him is going to elevate that team. And honestly, that is just what he's worth. You know, we can't act like Dev doesn't play into how good a player, you know, gets better in Madden. You know, it might be a little weird for real life, but basically what we're saying is Kyler Murray is just as good as Baker Mayfield, honestly. Like, at least as a rookie. Because, of course, Star Dev is going to get him really high. He's obviously super fast, so you can't really put a grade on that. So I think it's a fair trade. Sue me if it isn't. Please don't. You can't anyways, huh? So we're missing a few positions, but I think we'll be able to easily fill those, you know, backup running back and whatnot. But this is the team. I mean, we haven't really changed a whole lot in the last few seasons. We obviously got Jason Kelsey uh, defensively. Spears is still there. Devin White. You know, Gerald Avery hasn't really upgraded too much. We have to put McKinney at number two DT, of course. Wilkerson, uh, he was a good fill-in for a little while. Let's see what the final season could do for us. Maybe we can uh, become that dynasty. So this is going to be a rough re-signing period, and... Here it is. So you have uh, Denzel Ward, Baker, moly crap, Baker Mayfield, <laughs> uh, Nick Chubb. Uh, you've got you know, a couple of big names here. 207 mil? Jesus, Baker. Would you calm down? Oh, my God. I mean, he deserves it, I, I guess. But... Boy, that's uh, that's an interesting one. Denzel obviously deserves it. Nick Chubb, I don't think we would really need him, but I like him a lot. So you know, it's not like we have to keep him. Like Denzel, 100% have to keep him, no question about it. Baker, basically have to keep him. Nick Chubb, obviously kind of debatable. Duke Johnson, very low chance. Gerald Avery, just kind of looking to replace him anyways. Uh, Zeitler, uh, two years not that bad, honestly. But I think I'd rather do it at the end of the season, especially since we can barely afford it anyways. Uh, Muhammad has zero chance. Calhoun has zero chance. Some of these guys have zero chance. And we just sneak into the playoffs. Last two seasons, I'm pretty sure we had a, uh, a bye week. So, do we finish slow and then finish... Or f yeah, start it slow and finish strong? I guess you could say that. We finished strong. Didn't do... I mean, it was kind of an even season. Just a little bit better in the second half. Baker Mayfield, 4,500 yards, 43 touchdowns, 11 picks. That's almost MVP worthy. Nick Chubb, is that a dev up? Please get him back. Really, man. Can't believe how well he's played. And he's a quick dev right now. That could be a star. It is a star. Marquise, that could be a normal. It's a quick. That could be a quick. It's a star. All right. So that's, that's pretty good. That's a normal. Quick, okay. Team's uh, actually pretty solid at Devin. Really good. Uh, defensively, Miles Garrett absolutely killing it as usual. Oh, my lord. Larry is so... 
Larry's so good. Please stop disrespecting my boy Larry. Emmanuel Agba is quick dev, even though he had less sacks than the DT. Cheever, is that a start at? It's a normal. Damn it. That's all right. How was the kicking, actually? Don't usually pay attention to that. Craig's their line. Wishnowski. That's not good. It's not great at all. Don't care about the awards. I guess let's use our XP on, I don't know, tight end. Actually, let's go running back. Oh, we already have running back. Uh, pretty damn smart, huh? Let's do that. Everything's good to go. Let's take a look. The Chargers. The final season. Had a lot of success making the Super Bowl. 95 to their 90. Best team probably that, you know, overall-wise in the league. Things are on in our, in our favor. Can we do it? I'm hoping we can just win this with a lot of force. So far as no one really taking control, we are left to right. Second quarter, we do get our touchdown. They get field goal. They're going to get another score. Ooh, a touchdown. Yikes. Right before half, we get a touchdown. That's clutch. Third quarter, really no one taking control. The Chargers do, though. And this isn't looking very hot for us right now. Great drive down the field, though. Start of the fourth, though. Clutch run. And get in the end zone. We always struggle here. They go for it on fourth down. And, man, it's so clutch. Third and 12, we get a stop, apparently. Wow, that thing was really close. Running the ball nicely here. That is so clutch, man. Two minutes left, up by seven. We're having a really good fourth quarter here, and we win the game to move on to the divisional round. That is that's an impressive fourth quarter. Uh, Baker Mayfield really shined. Nick Chubb really did not do well. Mike Williams was solid. Defensively, any picks? I don't think we did, no. Miles Garrett is really good, though, in Sim. The Ravens. All right. I guess uh, the Ravens were not the pick that you should go for because they are 12-4 and four and might make the Super Bowl. 13-0. Uh, to zero. We do get a touchdown. Defense is not doing great, but offense is doing worse. Start of the third quarter. We are up by one. Don't count us out until it's over. I'm just all I'm saying. They do get a nice two-point conversion there on their touchdown. Offense is looking good. First and 10, struggling. Third and 10, we get bailed out by a penalty. And we take advantage of that. We go up by seven defense. Doing really well. There's a penalty, but luckily it wasn't like a penalty that gave a first down. Fourth and one, and we had a punt, man. If we don't have the punt there, that's that's game. That's unfortunate. And that's going to be a win. That's going to be a championship visit. Browns, of all the teams, are apparently unstoppable. Lamar definitely did a little bit better than before, but still touchdowns lacking. They did have one rushing, but we had one rushing and three passing, so obviously that doesn't even compare at all. Sack totals. Man, Miles is killing it. Absolutely killing it. Where do you do is the Tex oh, 10 and 6 Texans. Even though they're the same record, once again, we don't get the home field advantage, but that's worked out for us in the past. I believe we do get the ball first, so left to right. Oof, gave up the ball almost instantly. They only get three. Long drive for a touchdown. That's huge. Defense clutching up. Not looking good so far. Start of the second half. What a low-scoring game. And, oh, here we go. Okay, so this is starting to heat up in the fourth. Up by 12. This could be a Super Bowl trip. Defense holds them for, wow, they really went for that. Is a huge, terrible decision. That field goal was a terrible decision. That might be the difference. Maybe not, though. They get a touchdown. Only down five. If offense can stay on the field. Third and eight. They get a nine-yarder. I think that's going to be a win. Back to the bowl. Was it three straight years? But if, they go, if we go one and two, that would be really disappointing. 18 to 13. What a weird score as well. Uh, wow. <laughs> the interception bowl. Five total between the two. Not a very good game. Jabril with two picks at corner. Demarius Randall. Clowney had a pick. Interesting. You knew it was bound to happen sooner or later. The Rams. You knew it was coming. The Browns versus the Rams. Only a two-point overall upgrade. Yikes. This is uh, this is going to be an interesting one. Last game was pretty rough the way it was with the Texans, who I think were three under, so... That's a little rough. Nick Chubb uh, playing a little bit worse than Todd on the season, but that's that's a pretty good guy to be compared with. Who gets the ball for us? Is it us again? Damn it. Anytime it's us, man, it's always so worrisome. We always almost turn it over. Like, pretty much turn it over right away. 
And that's not the case here. We get three points. I like it. Seven points for them out the gate, though. That's not good. Defense makes a stop. We get a field goal. Defense, keep it up. Unfortunately, they do not. They get a touchdown. Too many field goals. Way too many field goals. But at the very same time, it's what's kept us in the game. We're up by five. Fourth and two. Another field goal. Greg Zerline against his old team. Oh, I love it. The storyline. Kick another one. Don't need to. Six minutes left. This is the dynasty. Oh, maybe not. Rams are uh, the Rams are pushing here. Down eight with three minutes left. Uh-oh. I jumped the gun. Oh, no. What a punt. Oh, my Lord. That young. The special teams have come up huge. The special teams win the Super Bowl. How many field goals was that? Five against his old team. You know why they call him Greg the Leg. And unfortunately, Rams fans, you get to see another Super Bowl lost by your team in prime time. You know, Super Bowl, my videos. Is there really a difference in viewership? I really, I mean, I really don't think so, to be honest. Of course, we win. Who's going to be MVP? I don't even know, honestly. Probably, uh, if there was any time, it would be the kicker. Has a kicker ever won, ever won MVP? Because he definitely deserves it here. Absolutely killed it. I'd be cool to see if they actually gave it to him. They're going to give it to Baker, who had two touchdowns, 338 yards. I guess it kind of makes sense. The completion percentage thing is always broken, though. Zero percent? How the hell did he complete a pass, then, EA? Come on. We got offensive linemen. Actually, was that the DT talking to him? Might have been Larry, actually. Didn't really pay attention to the number. Devin White, not a huge number. I'd like to see, uh, not a good number, anyways. I'd like to see, like, a 55 on him. Maybe a 52, maybe a 50, 54. 56 isn't bad, but I, I don't know. I just, I'd like to see a 55. I think that would fit him well. Fit him well in the league. But yeah, the, the Browns, two Super Bowl wins, three trips. Super successful. Obviously, we did add quite the talent. We added some really good players. Uh, and obviously developed the guys that already were on their way. Nick Chubb, this postseason, not super great, man. I'm not going to lie, but the other years definitely did well. Deserves the contract. Oh, look at that. My man. Cheevers finally coming up with some big plays. Obviously, he had a couple of three-pick seasons on the regular season, so it's not terrible. But he finally showed up in the postseason, and, hey, we won. We did We did what we needed to do. I'm going to advance it just in case we come back to this in the future. I highly doubt we would. But it was a successful one. Happy to see it. Happy that you guys joined me for the adventure. You know, if you're new to the channel, maybe subscribe. Hit like if you know if you are or you're not. And more importantly, come back for next video. I should have I should have segued with that, you know. It would have been much better. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Jerome Uh But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Hope we come back for next video. But until next video.